Welcome to the channel. My name is Noel Barnett. If you're new to the channel, we're going to talk about some books in this video. So yeah, let's get into it. Before we get started, actually, you may be wondering, why would I listen to you? Who are you? And that, that's valid. I will say that I do read a lot. I do listen to a lot of books and I actually have a reading list on my website. Um, kind of just expose myself to a lot of different areas, but especially in the creativity space. So yeah, that's uh, my little spiel is to give myself a little bit of credibility. If you were wondering, who are you? Why should I listen to you? That's fair. I do think you need to have some rapport, some credibility with the people that you take advice from. You know, if I, if I was some someone that read two books this whole year or someone who didn't paint or have any artistic knowledge or skill, then why would you take any artistic advice from that person, from said person? But I'm ranting at this point. Yeah, let's get to it. We'll just start with this one. A La Prima by Richard Smith. We're starting off hot. This book is, how much is this? I bought it for 140. Let's see how much it is on Amazon at the moment. Okay, still 145 paperback. But if you value your, your practice, you value your work, then this is invaluable. Man, you're gonna you're gonna learn everything from light to shadow to drawing to arranging your palette to edges to brush strokes, like contrast, proportions. It, it's really about painting from life and everything that entails. So much knowledge. And it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Books in the current world that we live in are unlike many other forms of content. There's so much content out there. You have Reels, YouTube, TikTok, Shorts, shorts Podcasts. There's so much ways to consume information. And all those other things are seemingly short form. I'll include blogs in that, email, newsletter, newspaper, magazine, articles, all that kind of stuff. Tweets even is stuff that you may do some research um, for, especially like a blog or a news article. You're going to do a little bit of research, you're going to write it, and you're going to push it out. Um, maybe weeks or months worth of research. research. Books, on the other hand, could sometimes be be lifetimes worth of knowledge. And that's this, what this is. This is this man's life. He's invested into his painting practice and then he's distilling it into this book for us to read and to kind of alleviate some of the errors and some of the stuff that we don't have to make the mistakes ourselves. All the hours of his work is in this book. And all all books really are essentially that same thing. It's a distillation of years often into this compact essence. It's kind of mind blowing at that point. So that's why I like books are just amazing tool in, in so many different regards. So yeah, we're off to a hot start. Yeah, that's uh, a la prima. Moving on, same vein. This is Color and Light by James Gurney. If you're on YouTube and you consume art content, I'm sure you know who James Gurney is. He's a legend in so many regards, but this is the practice. It's about the execution. It's about the actual, the painting process. And it goes into building scenes, just building his own environments. And so he talks about lighting and how light is created or color is created from light. There's a saying that you need to know the rules to break them. So this is kind of, both of these books are kind Kind of showing you rules about color, um, local color, local light, and just giving you all the tools in your tool, tool belt. Doing specific color theory color. stuff to make certain elements pop. Like, so I mean, this is this whole section right here is about sunbeams and shadow beams. Like, come on now, this just eat this stuff up. Cloud shadows foreground illumination, specific stuff on snow and ice. So this is just, if you are interested in environments and landscape painting and mythological stuff, futuristic stuff, or just making your own stuff from imagination, making your own environments, like this is an immediate cop. Let's see how much this guy is. This one is not bad. It's 16 bucks on Amazon at the moment. And there's actually a deal you can get right now. A two pack with another book that he has called imaginative realism 40 49 so for 50 bucks you're getting years and years of practice just concisely put into a book beautiful beautifully packaged edited for you to to learn and it's invaluable but so boom this is be the artist by thomas evans detour he's also on youtube also a legend in his own right someone that i've had the pleasure of hanging out, out with, with a few times and is the the homie so these two books are going to be about the, more so i would say the, everything that is outside of the practice outside of the execution so these the first two are about actually making good work these yeah. two are about everything outside of that I would say so be the artist let's see how much this one is hopefully you're on amazon detour let's go there it is 1860 
the interactive guide to a long lasting art career is the subtitle. Marketing, curation, collectors, um, social media, where you meet collectors, residencies, doing your CV, doing your artist statement, using certain materials, and tons of like just gems and quotes throughout. And it's just done very artistically, beautifully laid out. There's mental health, which is which is a big thing. And um, um, yeah, mentality is something that not many people talk about. The mentality that you have as a new artist. So a lot of good information in here. He's the homie. So definitely, if you're interested, go support. I'll hit you with the uh, affiliate link. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, shout out to Detour. This book, along the same lines, a little bit thicker, a little bit um, more information i get not information but just more stuff this talks about like packaging your your canvases so it has diagrams about how to package your stuff once it's sold or once you ship it this one's going to talk still it still features a lot of quotes so it does have a lot of checklists but talks about more stuff nonprofits, art fairs so just like so much information in here studio visits promotion working with galleries because a lot of that stuff is a little taboo like no one tells you about gallery representation or how you should navigate that space when you're fresh out of school or maybe you didn't even go to school. You just kind of got to figure that out on your own. So this was actually one of the first books that I bought when I was getting started. Orange one right here is that the first version. And then this one is revised and has a little bit of updates. 1659 for this guy. This one's actually even in audio format, which I did not know existed. I might have to get it and just listen to it through again. But yeah, $16.59 for this. For 16 bucks, for 18 bucks, these two, you're gonna get so, like, it's crazy. This is the amount of information you're gonna get for under a dub is, is literally insane. Moving on, Art and Fear. I'm sure we've all heard of The Art of War by Sun Tzu. The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield is a book about the inner battle, the even, the often outer battle um, that, that happens when you decide you want to pursue a career in the arts. Fighting your own doubts, fighting the doubts of your, your loved ones or the people closest to you. This is going to be along the same lines. It's about the, the things that trip you up, the fear that often happens as you pursue this journey, the fear that never goes away as you continue to progress. It's just a step down the line and you have to jump over that hurdle and then it's just it just reoccurs. So very the very first sentence says making art is difficult. <laughs> so I recommended this book. This is probably one that I recommended the most to people because I, I meet a lot of people that are just have so many blocks and things stopping them from creating. So art and fear definitely go pick that up. I'm gonna look it up, but there's no way it's above 20. And that one's in audio format as well. I re-listen to it probably twice a year. Yeah, 1089. Moving on, we got The Artist and Soul by Erwin McManus. This one looks at us as the work of art and is more from a spiritual aspect. This one talks about using your life and, and craft, creating your life. That's actually the subtitle, crafting your life into a work of art. It talks about how us as humans are the work of God and how we made and created. And we're closest to God and most like God when we are doing that same thing when we're creating. So this book just talks about the uh, that process and, and being a creative and living as a creative and not just viewing creatives as, as people who make music or paint or anything along those lines but just viewing yourself and your life from that lens so yeah the artist and soul create your not just artwork but your life and craft your life into a work of art this one for sure in audio format find it on audible hard copies 15.99 so definitely pick that one up the artist guide to public art title doesn't get any better than that subtitle is how to find and win commissions if you're interested and painting walls and you want to make a living painting walls pick up this book right here so much valuable information about working with municipalities working with governments winning applications everything that goes into applications the insurance you need talks about different types of insurance talks about the process of being on a selection committee and what things are going to look at how they score your work websites and databases to find calls where to find competitions training for stuff longevity health insurance contracts fabricators yeah this i'm actually going to read set, set this one aside and, and go through it again because you read them once you take something great from it actually all of them like you but you need to revisit them they're so they're so potent stuff like this that has so much information you may 
like forget something or pick something else out that's more relevant to the season or the state of of your career that you're in now so they got an updated cover i might have to uh pick up that but yeah 1999 just went in uh Picked up that second edition. We'll see what has changed, but I'll be looking forward to that. In the meantime, check this out if you're interested. All right, moving up. This one, Managing or Manage Your Day-to-Day, -day, book from 99U. And this book is actually just littered with uh, Q and A's and quotes from, from creatives, but it's about your day-to-day -day life, your schedule, your emails, marketing, social media, scheduling time to be creative, to free think. You cannot try to do things. You must simply do them. And has these just like full pages, full graphics. These books are very short, concise, but they just pack a punch. The artist who aims at perfection in everything achieves it in nothing. Creativity is not a talent. It's a way of operating. Go ahead. Pick this up. 99U has a whole series of books like this, and they're all cheap. This one, again, I believe this one's 11. Nope, $8.99. Again, another meal. Cheap meal. Don't go to Chipotle one time. Get this. Get these books that are going to change your, your whole outlook. Word. Here it is. Show your work. Share like an art. This is from the guy who brought Steal Like an Artist. This one is about sharing your stuff. It says, share something small every day. That's chapter three. And... Immediately that hits home because that's something that I do not do and I struggle with myself. So we got this little simple diagram right here that says learn and teach. So again, very, very potent, very uh, concise. And I need to revisit because right off rip, reading this, there's just something that I uh, already don't do. Sharing something every day is, is definitely a challenge. So yeah, show your work. Another good one. He has a, a number of books. I think a, a series of three that you can get and they're all great. This one, show your work, 11.49 on Amazon. Again, another meal. Don't get the, the Chipotle with the guac, you know, get this book, get all these books. And with that, I think that's all that I uh, have to recommend this time around. If you read any of these, you buy any of these and you get something from it. Well, actually, I have no doubt you're going to get something from it. There's so much good information in all of these. You take the time, you spend the money, you invest in yourself. You're going to come out a better artist, a better creative, a better person. So yeah, that's this is the uh, recommendation for this video. I actually have a reading list on my website. It's called Reading Rainbow. Insert that theme song right here. Butterfly in the sky. But yeah, reading list on I my website. Links to everything will be down in the description. We can pick all this stuff up. Make sure if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Drop a comment down low. Give me some feedback. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh... I'll see you in the next one. I'll definitely be back maybe next year in a few months with some more books, some more reads. That never stops. So this was something a little bit different. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. A reading rainbow. I can't go anywhere.